Beachy Stout, wanted wife, dosed with acid. Witness tells the court. Beachy Stout gave the order, viewers and subscribers, for the person by the acid and dosed the wife, you know. Bone her up to ashes. In one, she become whiter than a snow, you know. When they done with her, you know. She be melt and bone up. Ooh, yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Bag of things, they have to make a statement If I no bag of things, TV, it no make sense A bag of things, TV, I run things all the time Bag of things, they have to make a statement If I no bag of things, TV, it no make sense A bag of things, TV, I run things all the time Bag of things, TV Check, one, two, audio media. check, one, two Bag of things, media, TV, right at your service Yes, viewers and subscribers more witness attack up in the court now and I'm gonna give the full information I hope he's just out want the job to be done and his wife you know yeah man beach is out say burn her up with the acid this girl too bad you know she go a road and I take be a man for me so I be a things you know hear the whole thing you know a purported car salesman who said he was commissioned by Portland businessman Everton Beach is out McDonald to dose his wife Tanya with black acid to dismantle her because of her suspected infidelity. Told the court that he aborted the mission because she was too striking. Yo, where the man see the girl, you know? The man said, Where the mama blow kiddie because this? Oh, that girl that's so pretty. The man fall in love with the girl. The man said, No, man, we can't burn her up with the acid, man. She was too strikingly pretty. The new prosecution witness who took the stand Thursday afternoon testified that he met with McDonald on three occasions between 2019 and 2020. He said in meeting McDonald for the first time alongside an individual who introduced them in a car park beside a supermarket McDonald owned in Port Antonio, the businessman told them that a pure problem his wife forgive. Pure problem, Shaggy, you know. Must say, yo, I'll be a problem, Shaggy, me. Joe, no more, you're born her up, you know. In quotation, you're a bitch, you say. She now nah come home most of the night. I give pure bone infidelity. And him want me to get some black acid and dismantle her. The man testifying, I quote, yo, me, I tell you, say, the man, you know, easy, I blow her, the man, bust out everything. Bust out everything, pan bitch, you start. He said McDonald on that first occasion after they begged him gas money to go back to Linstead gave them fifty thousand dollar. So the man must say, yo, we wanna go back to Linstead now. Cause you don't give us the information where we do. But we want some money still. Beach is told come so boom and go in and pack it. And back out fifty thousand dollar. What a man full of money, man. He told the court that on the second trip, still in 2019. He again met with the businessman in the same car park at which time he claimed that he was shown a shortcut behind the supermarket and told him he could not walk there to get to the main after completing the mission. The beach is told to say, don't walk this when you're done, but you know. When you complete the mission, you know. Don't walk this up. Asked by the prosecutor, marshalling the evidence what the mission was, he said, to burn up Tanya his wife with acid. According to the witness, on that occasion, McDonald instructed him to walk behind him and lead him into the supermarket where he said the businessman proceeded to talk to a cashier who he described to the court as a very, very beautiful lady. Jeez and peace. She was very beautiful. He indicated to me that she was his wife. He stood up next to her and gesturing mounted she as she the witness claim so we just all carry the money you know, in a general ship you know secretly you know to a cashier tanya was the cashier at the time beach is told comes to a she man at this a woman i'm going to burn up you know yeah man more you burn up her to frazzle does she acid panara and burn up her blood clade man the girl too bad and wicked man she does a dash way to the outer road you see yeah man, but the man frightened when he see Tanya you know, 
You must say, blood clean, me no one blood up with a pretty girl. Jesus, me don't want a piece of Tony still. I that the man say, no. He told the court that he then walked over to the unsuspecting wife and said to her, You are so beautiful at which she smile. Tanya give him a big smile, you know. Yo, Mr. The man, boy, man fall in love with Tanya immediately. He said in a meeting up with McDonald moments later in the car, he was handed 60000 for the purchase of the black acid. The witness claimed that some days later, he visited the salts factory in St. Catherine where he gave a friend some money to purchase the corrosive substance. Corrosive substance, you know. That is substance there, a strip of all iron. Anything you touch, you know, you burn up, you know. You take off rust off of iron, corrosive, clean rust and everything. That can just melt through your skin, you know. Like butter, you know. You see me, I say. If that is substance there, touch Tanya, pretty skin. She are going to melt, melt like butter. Viewers and subscribers, watch this now. He said upon being handed with the liquid in a glass bottle with a gold cap he waited for more than a week before returning to portland on a day in 2020 he said once there and in the same park he handed the purchase to mcdonald who met him he said the busy man opened the bottle take a little tip and put it on his hand make up his face like something burn him and then smile and said right stuff yeah man you get the right stuff brethren yeah, man, man, you use it up, you know. Now play around, you know. Don't play around for you, you know. Burn up, Tanya. He said McDonald then secured the acid in an upstairs room and led him to a plaza where he showed him his wife sitting under a chair dryer at a salon. He said McDonald, who didn't stop but kept walking, then returned to the car park where he told him that he could carry out the act right before he had seen Tanya. Yo, Jaja boy, me I tell you, say, me a man a wicked still now. Beach Stout is a calculated wicked killer still now. He very calculated, you know. And what happened now about him now, he feel like, say, because he have so much money, he can't get away with anything he want in a Jamaica. That's the thing when money do, you know, empower you, you know. A whole lot of people have been deceived by money. They feel, say, through they have money, they can't get away scratch free. You know anything with them do. You can buy out police. Saying, buy out the big trousers man them. And buy out the big fracko man them. With the money where they have. So that thing feel you know. Saying, why him never resort to just leave Tanya. Divorce her, split up. And go live in life. Why him I go do all of them something yeah? These calculated steps. You know make no sense. In quotation. Me say to him. Me I go deal with it. Give me back the acid right now. He went upstairs, took the bottle and handed it to me. I walked towards the place where the beautiful lady was under the dryer and slipped through a gas station because me never had to do what him tell me to do. So, me slide through a gas station with the acid, he told the court. So, all the man, I go everything in my pants still now. Beach is what him do it. But the man, the pants, go thing, him man, I go out the thing you now. The man saying, don't want to do it, car. When him see Tanya, Tanya was so strikingly beautiful. He must say, boy, I want a piece of that. I want some of Tanya. God Almighty, if I ever get some of Tanya, boy, I tell you. Yummy, 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 Tanya. Oh, we. The man said, boy, Tanya looks so yummy and sweet and delicious. He want some of Tanya, boy. He couldn't do it. Hear this now. Asked why he did not carry out the mission, he said, Sir, that lady was too beautiful. I could not do that to her. I am not that kind of person. Jesus God. The man had drool and he motor run water for Tanya. So he couldn't do it, you know. They must say no, at this point the trial judge, Justice Chester Stam, quipped. So if she wasn't beautiful, you would do it? What a good question, the judge asked him. Let me see how you answer to this now. The witness later told the court that in walking away, he called a cop he knew as a friend and told him and further went to the police station and handed over the bottle of acid. He said he then accompanied the cop to the supermarket and pointed out Tanya to him and told him about the plot McDonald's had. 
Yo, the man go report for and beat his thoughts still. Yeah, no, me. Nah, like, me respect him. Me respect the move the way he make, you know. A very good citizen that still, you know. A it, good move he make, man. Jeez, um, peace. Imagine if my not and the next man we kill Tanya, they do this. Beach is totally there behind bars right now. And Tanya be know. alive. Tanya would be alive right now if they go report Beach is thought. Don't support the violence. Don't support the crime. No make nobody buy on out. Don't sell your soul for silver and gold, you know. Remember, say they sell out Jesus Christ for silver and gold, you know. Wicked people, you know. See me, I say, Judas, them and the whole of them. You see me, I say. So, when me, I say, no, people who have to have little pride and ambition, who no do them sitting here, man. A good move, this man, I make, you know. Now, watch this now. The man claimed that he left Portland and had no further contact with McDonald, but made his first statement to the police about the crime in 2020 when he was in custody for another crime and saw that the businessman had been arrested for the death of his wife. Judge I tell you, report everything to a policeman. I tell you, Beach's thought was heading down a part of no return. He was so determined, say, I'm going to mash up Tanya, you know, and him eventually mash up himself. The witness admitted that since then, he was convicted for two offenses and pleaded guilty under a plea bargain arrangement. So the witness, you know, get convicted for certain things, you know, and took a plea bargain and saved himself still. You understand? Good thing he never carried out your work, you know, I nah lie. What a good move. Ja, ja. A bag of things made, you man. Like and share. Subscribe, look out for more videos coming in the series. This is a series, viewers and sub. I got things media TV, man. Thank you for watching. Make sure you share it. Make sure you subscribe. Press that notification bell to stay updated, man. Jamaican assassin killing all.